What is going on, everybody? It's Garrett. It's early. I got up early today. I'm drinking some wild, sweet orange tea. It's hot. I love it. I can't drink it too much because I get tired of it, but, uh, but now I'm drinking it again, and I like it. It's awesome. There's a demon acting up in my stomach. He's been acting up in my stomach for one hour. Let me be honest with you. Let me tell you what he's doing. He wants caffeine. And I haven't had caffeine for two days now. Praise God. Some of you who know me a little bit better know that I've been battling a caffeine addiction on and off, on and off for 10 or 11 years now. And I want you to know, if you're drinking coffee and energy drinks, there is a demon living in your stomach. You can cry about this. You can pout about it. You can put a thumbs down on my video. But that demon in your stomach, in my stomach, is drinking the caffeine somehow with us. I don't know how he's supernaturally doing it, but he is. And I haven't had caffeine for two days now. So he's having a temper tantrum. And he's having a pity party in my stomach. And my stomach is acting up as I'm drinking hot tea. I'm drinking that wild, sweet orange tea. So, if you've been trying to quit smoking cigarettes and you've quit for one week, and you notice that things are actually getting worse, that is one or two demons inside of you who are having a temper tantrum that you're not smoking cigarettes. Now, I know this is going to sound a little bit funny, but I'm being drop-dead serious. When you smoke cigarettes, they are lusting after the cigarettes also and doing something supernaturally with them to fulfill their evil lust. And because you have quit for one week, they're having a temper tantrum. Now I'll tell you something a tiny bit X-rated, so brace yourself right now. If you've been battling a pornography and masturbation addiction for a while and you have quit, say you quit for one week, one week, uh, say you quit for a couple weeks, don't be surprised if those demons act up in your private parts, in your body, in different sections of your body, or even acting up in your hand, in your hands. Because they're having a temper tantrum that you are not feeding and fulfilling their lusts anymore. Let's do one last one. If you've been taking antacid pills for your stomach for a while, I want you to know that there is a demon in your stomach that is also eating those antacid pills. I know this sounds strange. I know some of you might be laughing at me. If you're new to the channel, this might sound funny. But for those of you who've been with me and the Lord Jesus on this channel for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And let's say you quit taking the antacid pills for a few days or a few weeks. They will cause Armageddon in your stomach and in your chest, doing everything they can to force you to take another pill. Believe me, I have gone through that myself with first-hand experience. These evil spirits are lusting after these cigarettes and caffeine drinks and alcoholic drinks and pills and medications that we take. I want to tell you the truth. 
God's son, Jesus, zapped the you-know-what out of these spirits and turned them into monsters. And I don't know how it works, and I haven't seen a picture, and I haven't even had a vision on this from the Lord, but they are lusting after the things that we're eating, drinking, smoking, seeing, sniffing, touching, experiencing, and imagining. They're lusting after all of it. So I want you to know, I've had no caffeine for two days. I've been battling this giant for over a decade. And believe me, caffeine is a giant. He is a Goliath, or actually he's Goliath's bigger brother. Some of you know what I'm talking about. All right, praise God for this in information. Spread the word. Tell your family. Tell your friends. Make videos. Write little notes on the internet. And tell some people.